Tonight, we're going to photograph one of the brightest and most beautiful objects in our night sky, the Orion Nebula. The winter months are a tough time to be an astrophotographer. The nights are often plagued by clouds, making imaging impossible, losing valuable time to photograph these objects that we only get a few months out of the year to see. But there's one target in particular that astrophotographers always look forward to finally seeing in the winter months, and that's the Orion Nebula. In general, this whole area of sky actually has a lot of beautiful targets. We've obviously got the Orion Nebula, which we're going to be photographing tonight. We've also got the Running Man Nebula. And then if you zoom out and go up a little bit, you can actually see the Horsehead Nebula and the Flame, which we've been photographing a lot. We've also got the Witch's Head here. And if you zoom out, you can see like the Casper the Friendly Ghost Nebula, this is what it's called. And then encompassing all of this is actually what's called Barnard's Loop right here. And then another beautiful target just above this is the Rosette Nebula, which we photographed. And I've got that available on our Instagram and it came out really nice. In general, this area of space is really beautiful. In the Northern Hemisphere, Orion finally makes itself visible in the southern sky at night during the months of November and February, giving us a very short period of time to photograph this beautiful nebula between cloud-ridden nights. Thankfully, Orion is one of the brightest emission nebula in the Milky Way galaxy. The nebula is so bright, in fact, that you can actually see it with your naked eye from even light-polluted skies, which means we're going to be able to collect a lot more data in a shorter amount of time. Most images you see in astrophotography are going to be in the RGB color format, or using a color combination method called the Hubble Palette. The Hubble Palette requires you to take about three times the amount of photographs using three separate narrowband filters. These narrowband filters will photograph specific wavelengths of light emitted by the stars lighting up various gases within the nebula. The filters astrophotographers will often use are hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2, and oxygen 3, which all collect separate wavelengths of light and then they're combined into an RGB photo. So when it comes to Orion, I'm actually not a big fan of the way the nebula looks in the Hubble palette. So with this, we're actually going to be doing something a little special. We're actually going to be using two different telescopes with their own camera, one of them being my new ZWO 6200 color camera, which I've been really excited to use. We're going to capture all of the color data in the nebula with this particular camera. Now, it is going to be paired with our Skywatcher 100 millimeter, so it's going to be a bit of a wider field than our main telescope, but it's going to be using the ZWO 6200 monochrome sensor, and we're going to be using that to photograph the hydrogen alpha and the nebula with our Skywatcher 150 millimeter APO. So we're going to be getting a much more close look at the Orion Nebula and the Running Man Nebula. We're going to get some really, really nice details out of it because of the hydrogen alpha filter. Now all we've got to do is actually set up all of our equipment. Now thankfully I do keep the majority of my equipment outside 24-7, so all I've really got to do now is swap around the cameras and do some fine tunement to the balancing, maybe double check the polar alignment, thankfully we've got this nice polar scope which makes it super easy, and I'll also leave links in the description below of all of the equipment we'll be using in today's video so any aspiring astrophotographers out there can see exactly what we're using to take photographs tonight. Now all we gotta do is wait for the sun to set. If you want to locate Orion's nebula in the sky for yourself, all you need to do is look just below the Orion's belt to the Orion's sword part of the constellation. And within that, you'll actually be able to see the Orion's nebula. Now, if you're looking at it with your naked eye, it's going to probably look similar to another star, depending on the amount of light pollution that you have in your area. So we're starting to get our first lights in, and this is a 300 second exposure. Now we can already see some nice fine detail inside of the core of the nebula here. 
But when we hit this nuclear option, we can see just how much of the nebula we're capturing per frame. Now what we're going to be doing is actually photographing this over the next 7 to 8 nights to capture as much data as possible. So after about three months of fighting with clouds, I think I've got enough data. This is about 400 or more images all combined, and I have kind of created this HDR version where I get a lot of detail here in the core of the nebula, I'm getting a lot of those clouds, and even the stuff that is surrounding the Orion Nebula. I've kept it pretty bright right now. And then we've also got our, uh, so we've got our starred version of the nebula here, and then I've got our starless version that I'm gonna be so we've still got a lot of work, probably a couple hours more worth of editing, and we'll have our final image. What I thought was going to take about a week ended up taking nearly three months. My goal when starting this project was to take one of the best amateur astrophotography images of the Orion Nebula as possible. And if I'm being completely honest, I nearly gave up multiple times. I can't count the number of times that I started over with the editing process or considered giving up on the project altogether. But every time that I gave up, I started over, I learned something new, and I improved on the editing process each and every time, and I learned a lot. And I finally created something that I'm actually really proud of. Is it the best astrophotography image of the Orion Nebula ever? Probably not, but I'm really proud of it, and I really hope you guys enjoy it.